Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we are going to go over circuit 1A and we're specifically going to focus on the circuitry and the wiring involved and the coding that we'll be using to get this LED to turn on and off. Keep in mind for this uh, guide, I will only be using this online guide and I will be avoiding this handbook right here. So you can use this if you want, but remember that the code is online. We're going to start off by going over the physical components that we will be using. So notice as we scroll down, we do see our list of components that we'll be using. We have our LED, I have my red one, I have my one 330 ohm resistor. Keep in mind that we have a 10 ohm resistor, but we will be using the 330. And we have two jumper wires. The colors don't matter, but I'll be using the ones that they use in the circuit. So let's keep scrolling down. So just keep in mind that for the LEDs, there is a longer leg and a shorter leg. So the placement of these legs does matter. Keep in mind the positive leg will be the longer leg and the negative leg will be the shorter one. Try and avoid the blue LED. The blue light is irritating, so just stick with this. As far as the resistors go, you can bend it and you will need to bend it for the circuit. So just make sure you end up bending it like this at a 90 degree angle. First thing we have to consider is that our circuit is connected to our computer or a power source. So let's disconnect it to make sure that if we wire something incorrectly, our red board is not damaged. So let's start off by wiring our black wire. So our black wire is going into row one, column E. And the other end is going to go directly to GND or ground. You don't have to actually follow the order that I'm going in, but keep in mind that the LED, it has a positive and a negative leg, and it is shown that the negative leg is going into row one, column A. And the positive leg with the longer leg is going into row two, column A. All right, now the resistor, once again, we have to bend these and the leg placement doesn't matter. So this is going into row one, my bad, row two, column E. And then on the same row, but in letter G. Now we're going to connect our yellow wire to row two, letter J. Now keep in mind, whenever we connect the jumper wire to any row, that row is completely activated. The columns are separated. This is going into pin 13. So once again, these rows are marked in green because they are completely activated. So everything that's connected here will be connected to pin 13. Anything connected to row one is connected to the ground as well. However, this bridge in the middle is separating the two sides. And then with this resistor here, we actually activate both sides of row two. We are ready to start coding. So we're going to scroll down and we find this section with the code. So this has already been pre-written for us. And all we're going to do is click copy and we're going to paste it onto CodeBender. So to use CodeBender, we need to click on create sketch. So I click create and you can title it whatever you want. Now in this situation, I want to highlight everything and then paste. Okay, another way to do this, you can click anywhere on your code, hold control, click A to select everything and then control V to paste. So we have two sections of code. We have the void setup section and we have the void loop section. Okay, void setup is being used to identify what pins we are using on our breadboard. So for instance, I have pin 13 connected to this LED. So if I connect my LED to pin 12, my LED does not turn on because pin 12 is not activated. Now in this situation, we have void loop and in void loop, we're just repeating this code over and over and over again. So we're saying digital right high, 13 high. So pin 13 will be activated to turn on to receive electricity for two seconds. That's what this delay function is saying. It is a time function. Every 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. But this is a comment, so I can write anything in here and I'll write something else down here. So I'm going to write that 1000 equals one second. Just a little reminder. You guys can do that too. So if I take this off, this activates that this sentence as a code and this will result in an error because our computer does not understand our human language. All right. It specifically understands C++. Okay. So anyways, now in this line 27, 
we do digital write 13 low. So we're saying, hey, stop sending electricity to pen 13 for two seconds, and that's why it turns off. Okay. So in the next video, we are going to go over how to manipulate this code. But if you want to, I recommend change the numbers around. And as you change them and upload a code, and if some, you get an error message, then just change it back. So just a heads up, I will only be using CodeBender to edit my code, and then I'll be using Arduino to upload my code to my breadboard. So my Arduino IDE is already set up. I have everything on here already. To manipulate this code, and I recommend change the delay, change this. All right, so we'll go over how to change this up in the next video, but play with it for now. And if you ever be messed up, just go back to Sparkfoot and get the original code and wire it all up the same way. So in the following videos, we will be going over the coding challenges. So you guys should be able to solve these um, with me or on your own. And aside from that, we will also be going over the troubleshooting. So if you encounter any problems, please watch the video where I go and troubleshoot my device. And thank you for your time and try it out.